going on guys here in with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. In the last episode, we... I don't remember. I don't remember. We evolved Cloud into a beautiful Altaria, and we lost to Water... And we lost Lucky, and we lost to Faison. But we got Orange instead, who has the EXP share. So, today, I believe we're finally going to be starting our journey to the next town. I believe we actually started it last time, but we had to go back because Faison died. So hopefully, nobody dies today and... Ooh! What? Oh! Whoa. Wow, we were one step away from activating that event last time. <laughs> wow, that was Lance and his Dragonite. So why isn't he just flying a Dragonite out of curiosity? I mean, the Dragonite's flying right next to him, but he still has to use the plane. Poke logic, man. I just, I, I'm sorry, I, but I have to question that. It really makes me curious why he doesn't just use the, um, the Dragonite. Why is he flying a plane? I don't know. But I believe... She's sending out a water type. I don't. It wasn't paying attention. I think it's a Starmie. So, let's go Roxy because I'm afraid it might have like a psychic type attack. And because Starmie is actually our parts of psychic, which I forgot. I was thinking like they're just straight normal, but they weren't psychic type attacks. But actually, no. Thinking back, they are part psychic, which I don't know why. Once again, I'm gonna question Poke Logic in Generation One why they decided to make Starmie a psychic type. And it, I don't know why it's a psychic type besides the fact that it's purple. I don't see any other reason for it to be psychic type. But they made Starmie a psychic type, but Psyduck and Golduck still are not psychic types. Just I, That will bother me until the end of time, the fact that Star, Psyduck and Golduck are not psychic types. And I don't know why it annoys me so much, but it does, and I'm gonna complain about it forever. And it's actually something, um, what I'm talking about is actually like a video idea I've had for a while, and I might actually do, now that I'm like talking about it, I might like trap myself into doing it, but um, it's it's not a top 10 list, because I think top 10 lists are very stupid. It's basically the same thing as the top 10 list, but because I like to be original and different from everybody else, because why be like everybody else? It's gonna be more like a, um, I'm just gonna choose like some random number, like top 15, or no, not top 15, that's not random enough, top, probably gonna be like top 14, I don't know, just some random number, but y you guys get what I'm saying, and uh, it's gonna be like top enter number here Pokemon that should have their types changed or altered in some way, and I can guarantee Psyduck and Golduck are gonna be on that list, because it just, it bothers me so much that they are not psychic types, and what do we got up here? Oh, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to enter some kind of forest, which I don't like at all. But we shouldn't need to go to Pokemon Center. Dardusk Woods. The good news is we can catch a new Pokemon. So let's see what that is. Our new Pokemon is... <gasps> so close! Oh, you're so close to a Caterpie. Oh. But I will catch you in... Oh, man, you're going to miss Butter... You're going to miss Gust and Confusion from Butterfree, aren't you? And the status moves. Doesn't Butterfree learn all its status moves by 15? Wow. You're making me really sad right now, Metapod. I hope you realize this. You just... No, Metapod! Oh, I'm sorry. No, come back. Oh. Man, that's, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean just die. I meant, like, I, I, you're making me disappointed, but I'm sure we could work something out. So, anyways, getting back to the list thing I was talking about. Um, I'm trying to... I know I... I the other day I was thinking about this and I'd come up with like a bunch of Pokemon I would want to be on the list and now I can't actually remember any of them so I know just just think like if there's Pokemon out there it's like it should be a typing or it should have a typing added to it but it doesn't have it and it just it bothers you so much and you're just like oh why do you not have this typing I'm just gonna like furiously rage at the sky until you get it that kind of thing which I'm sure you guys encounter that kind of situation all the time when you're playing Pokemon because everybody does everybody thinks the exact same way I do no one is allowed to think it any differently. Are we still in the grass? I thought we were exit the grass. Yeah, whoa, what? 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 <laughs> we got a wild Pokemon here where there's no grass. What just ha- What? What? Wait a minute. You can- I'm so confused. <laughs> what is the point of grass if you can run into Pokemon anywhere? Oh, that's- oh, Okay, switch out, switch out. Natural cure. The greatest, the, one of the fantastic, okay, yeah, that figures. I was going to say, what a fantastic ability Natural Cure is. And then it doesn't matter because Cluckers has to go get poison as well. Do we have any kind of full heals or antidotes? Am I really going to have to risk running? Okay, I do have Hyper Potions just in case, but 
I actually think we should make it just fine. I don't know. Clucker's at a ton of HP. 82. Yeah, we'll be fine. But, um... No, I'm not asked... Like, when I brought that up earlier about, like, if you guys think there's any Pokemon that should be your type... Like, should have their types change. That doesn't mean I was asking for your opinion. Because... Wow. Okay. It does mean I'm asking for your opinion. It doesn't mean I was asking for your opinion for the list. Because this is going to be completely my opinion. Like, not like a community kind of thing so while I do like to know what you guys would think would be good Pokemon to have their types changed it's not gonna affect my list in any ways so I just want you to point that out and I know after I do that if I do this video it's not like a guaranteed thing but if I do this video there's gonna be people saying that the list is stupid because for some reason they can't really accept the fact that this is an opinion video oh oh boy no 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 I don't want a rival battle right now no wow actually well it's been a while since we had a rival battle I think we have like two videos without one so all right, whatever. I'll have a rival battle. I'll accept it. I don't actually think we battled this one yet. I know we battled the guy variation of her, but I don't think we've battled her yet. So this is interesting. Let's try to get the paralysis because, oh, we see that actually really sucks because now I'm going to be forced to switch out, but I was probably going to switch out anyways. Mill tank. Yeah. Um, I don't want to stall it just, be, just because it seems fun, but I'll go with cluckers. I do have to be careful rollout because... I kind of, I, yep, I was going to say, I have to be careful roll out, and speaking of, the, speaking of the devil, there it is. Um, I might have been lucky, because for the most part, I never really played um, gold, crystal, and silver, so I never really experienced, like, the rage of Whitney's mill tank in its, like, in its heyday. I mean, in uh, heart gold and soul silver, it was a difficult Pokemon, a difficult trainer to beat. I remember having, like, a lot of trouble, but I don't think it was because of roll out. I think it was just because it freaking, like, demolished everything of mine but just by like using body slam I think but um I guess I got lucky that I never really had experience like um Mel Tank's rage in its height in its heyday like all the other people did who now like despise Mel Tank and Whitney for it because um I never even played the Johto games until the remakes came out so yeah little tidbit of information for you guys who I think I've actually I've probably mentioned this before that I believe Ruby was my first game so I'm a third gen baby that doesn't mean I like first gen or second gen any less, although I'm actually, I don't like first gen and second gen that much just because like the lack of running shoes really, really annoys me. And I know that's a stupid reason not to like it for the most part, but um, when I, you know, when you start with third gen and you're used to like the, all the features of third generation, like the updated graphics, the running shoes, just everything kind of like running more smoothly and organic, and then you go back and play one of the older games, it's like, no, I, I want my third gen back. I don't like this at all. Ooh, a bag on. No, dude, whoa. Wait, no. Get out of my way. I want to go battle the bag on. I don't like, I don't care about you. I want the bag on. Move, please. Die, leave, whatever. Goodbye. And ninja -esque. Oh, man. Wait, don't we already have a bag on? I don't remember. No, we have a Larvitar. And I don't remember. Oh, we can't catch it anyways. I just realized that. We won't even be able to catch this. Even if it is like a Pokemon that we can battle, it, we're gonna have to kill it because we already got a stupid Metapod and a million other bug types. So, okay. Uh, what if this is tricking us into a rival battle? Oh my god, it is. No. Bagon. Oh. Uh, Bagon? Bagon. Okay, that's cool. And yet another rival battle. Hey, Hardy, come, help me calm down to Bagon. I, I just tried. Uh, what? Finally, my bag on's chilled out, now I can put it back in its Pokeball. How was it not chilled out before? What was... I'm so confused. Hey, Hardy, thanks for helping me. My bag on down. He's been really nervous lately. I think he might evolve soon. We still have many battles ahead. Oh, yay, so you're going to evolve it against me. I actually had a dream last night. I don't know why this reminded me of it, but, um, wow, how has it not evolved yet? <laughs> Doesn't... Oh, I actually have Dragon Breath. Wow. I was going to say, oh, I, I don't have anything to hit it with, and I realized I have Dragon Breath. Um, I don't know why this reminded me of it, but... I had a dream last night uh, where Pokemon could like, I know this is like a very odd dream to just like randomly dream, but um, I was like, for somehow like, I was actually in the Pokemon world, but battles st still took place like they do in the Game Boy Advance version, or not in the games where like Pokemon can't evolve during battles and you actually like go back and forth and everything. It wasn't like anime kind of Pokemon world. So... But in this, like, Pokemon could evolve in the middle of battles. And I remember just, I didn't notice at the time for some reason. 
So I'm just like sitting there playing Pokemon, like in some battle, and all of a sudden, I don't remember what Pokemon it was, but it just randomly started evolving. And I'm like, what? What's going on? I don't understand. I don't like it. I don't want to do this anymore. But my Pokemon evolved, and it was amazing, and it was in the middle of the battle. And I think that'd be like awesome if they didn't like implement that in sixth generation, where like if your Pokemon, wow, that did a lot of damage. Like if your Pokemon leveled up to like, say you had a Turtwig, and I think Turquoise evolves at 18. And you reach like level 18 in the middle of a battle. At the end of that turn, when I get hits level 18, it'll just evolve right then instead of having to wait till after the battle. I don't know why they don't do that. Like, what's making them think that you have to wait until after the battle to evolve? Because evolving in the middle of the battle could be so amazing. And maybe with the inflammation of Mega Evolutions, which. Why does everything have to poison me? Why have I not bought any full, full heals yet? That's like a serious question. Um, I really need to get some. I will get some. I will get them when I go back to town. I will buy a million antidotes and then we will just be best friends. So, anyways, that's the thing. You know, with Mega Evolutions, where you have the ability to go to your Mega form in the middle of a battle, maybe that's a sign that, like, hey, you can evolve in the middle of a battle now, because I want that so badly. And why, why can't I just have one antidote? Am I going the wrong way? I don't remember which direction I came from. Okay, you know what? We'll just try to make it through this spot. Oh, you gotta be. I'm gonna let you live. Ooh, wow. Everyone needs to be healed up. I just realized that. Altaria is almost dead. Uh, Roxy. Roxy can go a little while before we need to give her a hyper potion. We'll play it a little risky. We won't use Roxy in a battle. Roxy in a battle. Because that would be a horrible, horrible idea if we were to do that. So we will just keep... Wait till it gets relatively low and then we'll hyper potion. And we'll just... We'll go from that. Because I think that's a good idea. I have no idea what's a good idea, I'm just like really paranoid because everything is poisoning me in this place and that's why I hate Bug Forest, that's why I hate Viridian Forest, despite the fact that I live in it, is that the freaking Weedles everywhere, just they all want to poison me. The forest ruins my view of the stars, my Vileplume is fantastic. How are those two sentences related in any way? That is so confusing. I, I don't under, that. Those are just two very random things to say. Oh, wow, we made it to town. I am very glad I didn't turn around and go all the way back now because that would have been very stupid and I have a phone call, so one second. I'm sorry about that, guys. You know, stupid phone. People wanted to talk to me because I'm so amazing and popular and actually, like, the only person that ever calls me is my grandma, so. Yay. Anyways, like I said, I'm very glad I didn't turn around and go all the way back, so first thing to do when you get to a new town is... Go see if you can get any gift Pokemon here, because I'm sure there's going to be something amazing. Every town gives you something. Oh, looks like this is the guy. Wow, how did I pick him the first time? What is it? What's it going to be? <gasps> Ooh, that's... Oh, I am... Okay, just to check, let's see if there's anything else in this town, because as we saw in the last one, there was actually two different gift Pokemon. So, um, gotta be... I'm guessing, for some reason, like, the ones who walk around never seem to, like, do anything. So, uh... Let's see, does this guy give you anything, maybe? We have a lot of strength, blah, blah, blah. Oh, whoa, cool, we just got strength. Okay, well, that was an accident. <laughs> As I was saying, um, the trainers who seem to move around, like, never do anything. Like, they never battle you, they never give you anything, they're just kind of there wasting your time. So, in this hack, if you see someone moving around, you might as well just, like, completely ignore them. Because they're going to be pointless and benefit you in no way. Um, so, I think we've talked to everybody now, so... It looks like we're going to be getting a Ryoloo, which is awesome in one thing, because Lucario is amazing. I love Lucario, but I hate Pokemon Evolve via Happiness. It bothers... Uh, it doesn't bother me. I just... I really, really dislike it, because it's so annoying, because you don't know, like, where their happiness is or whatever. Maybe it's changed in this hack. I don't remember... Yeah, no, they have happiness in this... They've had happiness since second gen, so... Uh, the bad news is now I have to go back to Name Raider and name him, which I think I actually still have to do with... Someone else. Who did I? Who do I still have to go to the name raider with? Who did I get in Dardust count? I don't remember. Uh, Tratini. I still have to go to the name raider for him. So I'm probably gonna wait till I get Fly to do that though, because um, it's a long, it's a very long walk, man. And I, I have sensitive feet. I can't walk very long distances, so I apologize. But for the looks, it we, we actually have two other areas we can go to, including um, Manfreni Lake, which um, I don't like the look of this trainer. What is Team Eleven? Is that? Sunny day. I don't like the look of that guy there. I don't I don't want to talk to him. Well, it looks like all we can do is fish there, which makes me sad. Is there anything south? Nope. But we got a cave over here, so let's go in here. And, oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 no,
I just... I just wanted to go catch a Pokemon. Whoa, you have a Magmortar. That's kind of scary. Um, okay, cool. Paralyzed and you have Ember. Okay, I take back the whole scary thing. That was just a joke. You are... Okay, you have Flamethrower as well. Which, actually... Why do you have Ember and Flamethrower? Just curious. If you could answer that, very much appreciated. Because it's genuinely very much... Um, it's making me very interested. But next up is a Lyron, which... I did not realize this for the longest time. Well, I did. I've known this for a while now, but when I was younger, I never realized that Lyron is actually quad weak to ground. So, dig. Even though most ground types moves, most ground type moves are physically effect, physical, and in this generation, all ground type moves are physical. Um, and Lyrons, because they're steel type and rock type, have massive physical defense. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it, you know, anything that's quad weak is probably going to die. I mean. Very few times do you see Gyarados live an electric type move, so Mount Shim is a very dangerous play for new trainers. Be careful, especially around the lava fields. Lava fields. Ooh. I think that means we could catch a fire type in here. Which um Okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna take on that guy right now. Oh, it's right into Torkoal! That's awesome, and you need to be healed up, Cloud. So let's go to Cluckers. I don't think Torkoal can hurt a Cluckers at all. And we could I guess quick attack. Would be a good option for... Okay, or we could just, like, not hit him in general. That works as well. Fire Spin. Wow, now you're making me not want to catch you. But, I mean, we already have Delenny as a backup fire type. And... Do we have anybody else as a fire... I think we have another fire type as well that I can't think of. But, either way, Delenny is next in line for my fire type uses. So, if both Cluckers and Delenny dies, then Torkoal, you might have use on my team. But until then, you're probably not going to be, like, the most... If we can even actually freaking catch you, are you serious right now? Okay, good. I was, I was gonna say, might as well just kill him at this point, and I think he knew I was about to say that. What? How is Torkoal only 170 pounds? He's this huge turtle with... <gasps> He's a turtle! Oh my god, I'm gonna name him Lane. Yeah, because he's a magical... Oh, he's female, but I mean... <laughs> Still, oh, okay. I was, I never. I was gonna say he's like this giant turtle with this huge steel shell, and yet he weighs like 170 pounds. <laughs> I'm like, no, that, no. But um, let's take a look. Does he curse, smoke screen, fire spin, and body slam? Body slam is pretty much like the only move I might actually keep. These three, I <sighs> curse is a good move, but I'm not a kind. I'm, I don't like the setup moves. I don't like setup moves. I'm like an all-out attacker, which. Someone should I just put Dragon Dance on Altaria, which I probably... I I don't know, I'm still kind of thinking that one over. I might put Dragon Dance on Altaria. Rather undecided at this point. But, um, alright, let's see what this guy wants. Wow, I've always thought the sun's in a man free lake must be the most beautiful thing in the entire world. All the reds and oranges are so spectacular. That's funny, because we're both, like, red. Hey, you look like a Pokemon trainer. Nice to meet you. I'm also a trainer. Actually, I'm a gym leader in the Warren region. I'm just visiting, but I'll help you on your journey by giving you a very important HM. We got HM05. Awesome. What is that? Actually, I don't remember what that is. This HMO5 contains Lava... Lava Surf? The fire move that should be used to cross lakes of lava. Only Pokemon that can resist fire should learn this technique. I hope this helps you. Now I have to go back to Lorne. Oh, oh, okay. Uh... <gasps> it's a Charizard! Awesome. Okay, well, uh, okay, Lava Surf? Does that mean there's not normal Surf in this? I don't... Is Surf normally H... Uh, let's see, flies to... I don't remember what... Is Surf normally HMO3? I don't... I don't remember, man. Um, ooh, Rusty can learn it, but it is special, so it's probably not the best move for Rusty. Cluckers, let's see what Lava Surf is. 95... Oh, okay, so it's exactly the same as Flamethrower, except, um... Ooh, this is a powerful blast of light. That... What? <laughs> okay, it's normally Flash. And it was changed to Lava Surf. Okay. But, um, it's exactly the same as Flamethrower, except... I'm guessing it doesn't, I'm guessing that description is just wrong, so, yeah, okay, we're just swapping moves, <laughs> we're not losing any damage in any way, and now we can surf on fire, so, um, I'm guessing there's, like, nothing important to do in this town, so we're just, like, supposed to go through the cave now, I, I guess, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but, um, this guy, I'm assuming he's gonna be a rock type trainer, or ground type trainer, so we will go with Dorito, and, okay, or you could have a Torkoal and just make me look like a giant buffoon. Thank you for that. Why did, I'm kind of curious why Rusty can learn, um, Lava Surf, because 
I know ground resists fire, but that doesn't mean like you could just stand on top of lava. Maybe I'm putting like too much thought into this, I don't know, but uh, it, it does make me curious. So next up we have Matchoke. Uh, Dorito's got to do something this video. Dorito's like the only one that hasn't done anything. So I'm going to use my wonderful strategy of just stalling out Matchoke until it slowly kills itself from just being annoyed to death by Toxic. What's already what's weird is that Matchoke already looks like he's poisoned because of his purple skin. Is Matchoke normally that purple or is that just like in this hat? Because I wanted, I thought Matchoke was like more bluish. No, I think Matt Champ and Matt Chop are more blue, and for some reason Matt Choke is more of a purple, which I don't understand, and I wasn't paying attention, so I have no idea what's being sent in, so I'm just going to go with Roxy. And, oh, I didn't mean to use that, I meant to use Double Kick, which is also quite effective against Laron, so... Laron apparently is just quad weak. I didn't realize until, like, right now, Laron is weak to, like, everything. <laughs> it has two quad weaknesses, which really sucks for him, and I need to start paying attention to what people are sending out, so... Uh, I kind of want to send a Dorito and then like Giga Drain because yeah, okay. We were able to take that. Oh We were almost not able to take that so not the smartest move on my part, but everything worked out. Okay, so I Guess they're just supposed to go through this cave was that that was like a completely pointless town Wow a magmar see I would have liked a magmar. Well, oh no, 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 okay. Okay. We can't escape. That's bad That's very bad. Okay rock rusty rusty come save us rusty. I'm scared. Ah Okay, okay, let's leave now. And you're dead. Okay. That's like the first time I remember there just being like a completely pointless town in this game. There's, there's got to be something more to this town than like what there appears to be. And it's making me very paranoid. Because, I don't know, is this just like the Odale town of this game? Where there's like no purpose and what, what's with this lake? Like, we're missing something. Do we not have a Pokenav? Because I was going to look at the map, but I guess we'll have to go to the Pokemon Center to look at the map. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. So we're here, over here would be Central City. Oh, wow, that's where we started the game. Oh, okay, so we've just, we've done a giant loop. And now we're supposed to go this way. Wow, so our hometown is like right here. Okay, that's cool. So I'm guessing now we're supposed to go this way. And then, Gromant City, I believe is where the ground type gym is. That's where we're supposed to be headed. And Mount Shyam, I'm not looking forward to that. So this really was just a very pointless um, town. Awesome. Well, I think we will ta tackle, we will challenge, we will take on, we will versus, we will face, we will fight to the death that mountain. And in the next episode of Pokemon White Platinum, Nina Sakuran, as I get a Skype call. Wow. Okay. Random people call me on Skype. Nice way to end the video. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Marty Tagoyo. Peace.